What up, everybody? Instruct the Beats back again here with our volume unit. Today, we're going to be talking about the volume of a right prism. So let's open the box and see what our objective is today. Our objective today, today I will be able to demonstrate how to find the volume of any right prism by applying the formula area of the base times the height. So a couple things we want to uh, define for our math vocabulary. The first is a polygon. Okay, polygon is a closed figure with straight sides. And that's going to be important to our definition for right prism. A right prism is a geometric solid that has a polygon for a base and the sides are perpendicular to the base. So here are some examples of different three-dimensional shapes. Now to be a polygon, you have to be a closed figure with straight sides, right? And it's really three straight sides, but that's okay. We are looking for any three-dimensional object that has a polygon for base and then the sides are perpendicular or form a right angle. So this is a right prism. Matter of fact, this is a right rectangular prism. We've already done a lesson on how to find the volume for that. This is a cube, same thing, has a square for a base, which is a polygon, and then the sides form a right angle to that base, right? You can kind of see that right angle right here. Now here, this is a cylinder. This is not a right prism. Um, now the sides do seem to kind of form a right angle or would be perpendicular right there. Uh, however, a circle is not a polygon because a polygon has to have straight sides. And then here we have a pentagonal prism uh, and it has a pentagon for the base. And you can see that it, the sides and the base form a right angle when they meet, right? And so this would also be a right prism. So we've been dealing in right rectangular prisms or cubes. Today we're going to take that same concept and apply it to any right prism. Volume is the space inside a three-dimensional object and we've talked about this. These are all 3D and we're trying to find the volume. We're trying to figure out how many cubic units will fit inside of these shapes, right? Um, and so we, like I said before, we've done cubes and right rectangular prisms. Today we're going to be looking at any type of right prism such as this triangular prism. Now there are a few characteristics of a right prism you need to know. One, it has a polygonal base. We just talked about that. Two, the base and sides form a right angle or are perpendicular. And then here's the big one that we talked a lot about in our other volume lessons, and that is the top and the base are the same shape and size, right? So if you're doing a rectangular prism, the top and the bottom would be a rectangle. If you're doing a cube, the top and bottom would be a square. If you're doing a triangular prism, the top and bottom are going to be the same exact triangle. Okay, this is a huge characteristic that we're going to be using today. Now to continue reviewing, when we learned about volume, we learned about finding the area of the base and then multiplying that by the height. We're, we're looking to figure out, okay, how many cubes can fit in one layer? And then we're stacking those, right? That's our height. How many layers do you have? So we need to write rectangular prism. We did length times width, and that would tell us how many cubes would be in that bottom layer. And then we multiplied that by the height. And you're going to do the exact same thing here. All the volume equations start with this one right here, area of the base times the height. Except today, we're not going to be doing length times width. We may be doing length times width, or we might have to find the area of the base in another way. So this area of the base is really a question mark. It depends on the polygon that is the base for what formula we would use. Let's take a look at the steps for finding volume. So again, we want to find the area of the base. Okay, so how many cubes, cubic units can fit in that bottom layer. We want to find the height or how many layers you have. And then you want to use the formula. You want to multiply the area of the base times the height instead of doing repeated addition, right? We're going to use that shortcut of multiplication for repeated addition to figure out how many cubes we could fit inside of that three dimensional shape. And again, this is the same exact steps we did for our right rectangular prisms. And it's the same thing. All volume questions are asking us, how many cubic units can you fit inside of a three dimensional shape? It doesn't matter what that three dimensional shape is. So here we have a we do. We wanna know how many unit cubes would be needed to fill this triangular prism, all right? And so we're gonna use the same formula, volume of equals area of the base times height, right? For any right prism but the area of the base is going to change because if it was a right rectangular prism, we'd be doing length times width. But the area formula for a triangle, right? If we want to figure out what is the area of my base, now you're saying, well, wait, that's not the base, but if you flip it up, the triangles would be the top and the bottom, right? So formula for a triangle, as you know from our previous lesson, one half base times height, 
and then we're going to multiply that by the height of the prism. So this is the height of the triangle. So the first thing we want to do is, okay, how many layers are we going to be able to fit over this triangle? So I know my base is 13. There we go, put that in parentheses. I know my height is 11, and then that's the height of the triangle. And then I want to know the height of the entire triangular prism. In other words, how many layers of the area do I need? So that's going to be times 18. So the area of the base of my triangle was 71 and 5 tenths. And now I want to multiply that by how many layers? So I have 18 layers of 71 and 5 tenths or 71.5. And so I could add that 18 times, but, but repeat addition is multiplication. So I'm just going to solve it. And you can use a calculator today for this. And the volume of this triangular prism is 1,200. 87 and then inches cubed or cubic inches because again even though this isn't a rectangular prism it's still the same concept volume is trying to figure out how many cubic units can fit inside of the shape let's take a look at this u try problem again it's the same exact concept we want to know the volume of this trapezoidal prism so what we want to do is we want to find out what is the area of the base or what is the area of the trapezoid right and then that's gonna be our bottom layer if we flipped it upside down. And then we wanna multiply that by nine layers because my height is nine. Now, what I would love for you to do right here is click this video and you can, it will tell you not only what the uh, area of a trapezoid is, but where it comes from. And again, for volume, everything we, that we do for volume is based on volume equals area of the base times the height. Okay, and it's all gonna go off from there. For area, everything it's based on is based on a parallelogram length times width. So watch this video right here. Um, I couldn't do it any better, so that's why I'm linking it. It's not my video. I just want to give a shout out to whoever made it. Watch that and then come back and use that to help you figure out the area of the base. So the area formula we're going to use is one half the uh, base one, oh, there we go, plus base two times the height. Okay, and again, that's going to be the height of the trapezoid. And then we're going to multiply that times the height of the prism. Okay, that's a T down there for trapezoid. Um, and so we're going to figure out the area of the base and then how many layers we need for that. And again, this is the same concept you did before of how you learn volume. It's still the same thing. Find the area of the base. How many layers of cubic units would you need to fill in the shape? So I'm going to do one half. I know that uh, base one plus base two is 10 because it was six plus four. There we go. I know the height of the um, trapezoid is going to be four. And then I have nine layers of that because the height of my prism, okay? And again, um, if you flip this up so that the trapezoid is at the bottom, that's where I got the height from, would be nine. So I have nine layers of whatever the area of the base is. So I'm gonna do volume equals 20 is the area of my base. And then I have nine layers of that. And so my volume should be 180 feet cubed or 180 cubic feet. So what we want you to take with you is you can find the volume of any right prism by using the formula, okay, area of the base times the height. It doesn't matter if it was a triangular prism, a trapezoidal prism, a, a pentagonal prism, okay? You just have to be able to figure out the area of the base and then how many layers you have. And the area formula changes based on what the shape is, but it all started with length times width, that's where we got the triangle from one half base times height, which is how we got the trapezoidal prism. It's important that you see what you've been learning when you were introduced to area and when you're introduced to volume isn't changing. You're just manipulating it as you learn new shapes. So you can find the volume of any right prism by using the formula area of the base times the height. Thank you so much for checking us out today. We really appreciate it. Uh, we hope that you will subscribe, uh, join our Trek Beats family. You can follow us on any social media account. You can, um, and we would love to, for you to leave a comment and let us know where you're watching from. Again, thank you so much. Instruct the Beats, out. Look, it's not about me. It's not about you. It's about the cues. What? The cues. Look how many does it take to fill it up. Don't count one by one. What? It ain't fun. Find the area of the base and multiply by the height.